Uh, to get a victory here at the Garden, it feels amazing. Um, I walked out there, it, like we are just talking about my coaches, it felt like it was a main event. Um, the energy was incredible, I fed off it, and you know, it helped me put an overdrive to get that W. Did you have any butterflies that you were walking out? No, man, I had no butterflies. I felt like I was in a dream. Like, it's weird. You, like, I was talking to my coach, you feel like you're part of a process. Like, once you realize you're part of a process, you can't change anything. It, it feels like a dream. You just go with the flow and you can barely remember afterwards. But, you know, I got the W. It feels amazing right now, and I just want to celebrate. Outside of length of time of preparation between your first fight here and this fight, I know, what's yeah. the biggest difference? Uh, for uh, the you know, I got a good amount of experience now in the, um, in the octagon. I have, uh, I had 45 minutes of octagon experience coming in here and now I have an hour, you know. Um, I came in here one and two in the UFC. I've been in some crappy spots. Um, I've been in some good good positions. So I had good amount of experience. I knew that that would play a factor in this fight. He's an aggressive kid. He he's he likes to come forward. He likes to bang. And I knew I had to do a smart fight. And that experience, I think, played off. How important was it to kind of be in the same card with, with a couple of your teammates? Oh, yeah. They're all prepared here. Uh, um, Calvin's about to fight. Rob's about to fight. Yeah, right Rob's about to fight right now. Uh, Rob talked about how important it was to work with you. Yep. How important was, was it to work with those guys with the same goal and the same card? It was awesome, man. We uh, we meshed very well. We had a camp together, cross-training together. Same strength conditioning, cross-training at low zones, coming to Broadway to just do. Um, you know, cross training everywhere, and we all peaked together. We all helped each other get through those tough days. And you know, I just put us first on the board for Boston. Rob's about to fight right now, and Cavs about to get it next. Ready for the Pats game now? Oh, I'm ready. I can't <laughs> wait. Oh, it's going to be tremendous, man. AFC Championship seven years in a row. This is an incredible weekend. I just can't wait. How big were the takedowns for you? It seemed like in the past he's been susceptible to that. Is that something you were looking at going into tonight? Not really. I knew I had that in my back pocket um, to rely on. Like, you know, he. He definitely uh, threw me off guard on how, how long he can cover range with his, uh, you know, he's got good arm length, good leg reach. You know, he was throwing knees and knees were coming like three, four feet. It, it was like, it was tough. So I know how to stay on my bike, keep my, uh, um, get, get, stay light in my feet, make my angles and press them against the fence and to try to tire his arms out. And hopefully, you know, my striking would open up and, um, you know, got a couple of takedowns, beat him up a little bit, a couple of good scrambles. And I think I did what I had to do. We were in the third round, the guys were just like exchanging. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, I was in a fight. There was 10 seconds left. I'm here where I want to be, performing in front of thousands of people at the UFC Garden. At that moment, I, I thought I had the, the fight in the bag, and I just wanted to bang and leave it all out there. So that's what I did. Kyle, any words for your people back in Gloucester? Uh, yeah, man, Gloucester, I love you all. Biggest support system. A little guy came from nothing to the UFC. You guys can do it. Whatever you dream, man. Just keep com keep coming, working hard. Who's next? Who's next? I don't care who's next right now, man. I think I just, I, I just want to get another UFC contract. Um, I got an hour in the Octagon experience now. Um, you know, it's time to start finishing people, cl start climbing these rankings, and uh, hopefully I get another UFC contract and I start doing that. You say you want to celebrate. How are you planning on celebrating today? <laughs> I'm just going to go find my wife, have a burger, have a Coke, watch my boys put on a, sh a show, and just play, play it low, low key like that, man. That's it. He was uh, smiling a lot and telling you to bring it on. How distracting was that when you were trying to go after him like you were? Uh, yeah, I, didn't I knew he wanted to suck me into like, a, a Muay Thai fight, p try to clinch up, throw some knees, some dirty elbows. Um, I didn't want to play that game. I wanted to stay on my bike, keep my range, try to mix my levels and feints, take him down. You know, just be all, all around mixed martial artists and put that out there tonight. And I think I did that. Kyle, in your line of work, you know we work with uh, sometimes a sore hand. Any advice for Tom Brady tomorrow working with a sore hand? <laughs> no, I think Tom give me some advice working with a sore hand. Like, he, he's got it all, man. He's the GOAT. That's it? All right, thank you guys. Thank you, Kyle.